I feel good. Hey, how are you doing today? I feel good. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm doing well, too. Got a good night's sleep for once. That's great to hear. Anything exciting planned for today? Not really, just the usual stuff. Work errands, you know? Sounds like a typical day. Well, at least you're feeling good. Yeah, definitely. It makes everything easier when you're in a good mood. Absolutely. Makes the day go by faster, too. Exactly. So, how about you? What's on your agenda for today? Oh, just some errands. And maybe catching up on some reading later. Nice sounds relaxing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, I'll let you get back to your day. Thanks. Same to you. Have a good one. You too. Take care. Can you help me? Can you help me with something? Sure. What do you need help with? I'm having trouble understanding this spreadsheet. Can you take a look and explain it to me? Of course. I'd be happy to help. Let's go over it together. Thanks. I just couldn't figure it out on my own. No problem. Sometimes these things can be tricky. So, this column here represents the sales data, and... Oh, I see it now. Thanks for breaking it down. I appreciate your assistance. You're welcome. Don't hesitate to ask if you have more questions in the future. I will. You're a lifesaver. Thanks again. Anytime. Glad I could assist. Face the music, to accept the consequences of one's actions. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't Have you talked to Tom about missing the deadline yet? Not yet. I've been avoiding it. But I know I need to face the music. It's better to address it sooner rather than later. I know, but I'm nervous about his reaction. He might be disappointed, but it's important to take responsibility for our mistakes. You're right. I'll talk to him this afternoon and explain what happened. Just be honest and apologize. He'll appreciate your candor. I hope so. I feel terrible about letting him down. We all make mistakes. The important thing is to learn from them and do better next time. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll do my best to make amends. That's all anyone can ask for. Just face the music and move forward. I will. Thanks for the pep talk. This is very difficult. Ha! 
Have you been working on the coding assignment? Yeah, but this is very difficult. What part are you struggling with? Understanding the logic for nested loops. Nested loops can be tricky. Have you tried breaking it down step by step? I have, but it still seems complicated. Maybe you could try some practice problems to reinforce the concepts. That's a good idea. Do you have any recommendations? There are some great resources online with coding challenges sorted by difficulty level. Okay, I'll check those out. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem. Remember, practice makes perfect. I hope so. I just feel overwhelmed right now. It's normal to feel that way when learning something new. Don't get discouraged. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll keep pushing through. You got this. Let me know if you need any help along the way. Bite the bullet to face a difficult or unpleasant situation with courage. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Have you talked to your boss about the upcoming layoffs? Not yet. I've been putting it off, but I know I need to bite the bullet and address it soon. It's a tough conversation to have, but you'll feel better once it's out in the open. Yeah, I just don't know how to approach it without sounding desperate. Maybe focus on your dedication to the company and your willingness to adapt to any changes. That's a good idea. I'll emphasize my commitment to staying on board and contributing in any way I can. Exactly. And remember, you're not alone in this. We're all in the same boat. Thanks for the support. I'll try to muster up the courage and have that conversation soon. You've got this. Just take a deep breath and dive in. It'll be a weight off your shoulders once it's done. I hope so. Thanks for the pep talk. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food. Look out for, be watchful or vigilant for something. In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearrange I heard there's a new policy coming into effect next week Really? I wasn't aware of that What's it about? It's regarding remote work They're going to implement stricter guidelines We all need to look out for the official announcement in the coming days Thanks for the heads up I'll definitely look out for that email. No problem. It's always good to be informed, especially when there are changes like this. By the way, have you seen the schedule for next month's training sessions? Not yet. I'll look out for it in the shared folder and let you know once I find it. Great, thanks. I need to plan my calendar accordingly. Also, Look out for any updates on the project timeline. I heard there might be some adjustments. Will do. It's crucial to stay on top of these things to avoid any surprises. Absolutely. We all need to look out for each other and keep each other informed in this fast-paced environment. Move fast and climb, a new class divine. Yeah, true passion shines and a true passion. Sizes and inches. I need help choosing the right size for this picture frame. It says it's 8 by 10 inches, but I'm not sure if that's what I need. What size is the photo you're trying to frame? It's a standard 5 by 7 inch photo. I want the frame to have a border around the picture. In that case, 
An 8 by 10 inch frame should work well. It will give you a nice border around your photo. Oh, that makes sense. But won't the photo just float around inside the frame? You'll need a mat to keep it in place. The mat has an opening slightly smaller than your photo size, so it holds it centered. I see. Should I get a mat with the same size opening as my photo? Exactly. A 5 by 7 inch opening in the mat will frame your photo perfectly inside the 8 by 10 frame. It's a game of chance. I heard you've been investing in the stock market lately. Yeah, I've dabbled in it a bit. It's a game of chance, you know. That's true. The market can be quite unpredictable. How has it been going for you? It's been a mixed bag, honestly. Some wins, some losses. That's the nature of investing, I suppose. Exactly. You can do all the research and analysis. But at the end of the day, it's a game of chance. Have you considered diversifying your portfolio? I have to some extent. It helps spread the risk, but there are still no guarantees. Wise approach. So, what's your long-term strategy? I'm trying to stay patient and not let emotions drive my decisions. It's all part of the game. Good mindset to have. It's important not to get too attached to short-term fluctuations. Agreed. In the end, it's a game of chance. But with careful planning, it can pay off over time. I don't know. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking love Have you figured out what movie to watch tonight? I don't know. I can't decide between action or comedy. How about we flip a coin? Heads for action, tails for comedy. Sure, let's do that. Flips coin its tails. Looks like we're watching a comedy. Sounds good. What about dinner? Pizza or sushi? I don't know. Both options are tempting. Well, how about we order sushi for now and save pizza for another night? That works for me. And for dessert, ice cream or cake? I don't know. Let's go with ice cream tonight. Ice cream it is. Thanks for helping me decide. No problem. It's all about compromise. Come by, obtain or acquire something, often with effort or luck. I heard you're looking for a new camera. Have you found one yet? Not yet. I've been checking out some stores, but I haven't come by the right one. I know a guy who's selling a high quality camera at a reasonable price. Want me to connect you? That would be great. I'd appreciate it if you could put in a good word for me. No problem. I'll come by his shop later and ask if he still has it. Hopefully, you can check it out soon. Thanks a lot. It's been a bit challenging to come by a camera that meets my requirements without breaking the bank. I get it. Good deals can be hard to come by, but I think this one might be worth it. I hope so. If it works out, it will save me a lot of time and effort. Exactly. I'll come by your place later and let you know how it goes. Sounds like a plan. I'll be here. Thanks again for helping me come by a decent camera.
This doesn't work. Have you tried using the new software? Yeah, I gave it a shot. But this doesn't work. What seems to be the problem? It keeps crashing whenever I try to open a file. That's not good. Did you check if there are any updates available? Yeah, I updated it. But the issue persists. Maybe there's a compatibility issue with your operating system. Could be. I'll try reinstalling it to see if that helps. Worth a try. Let me know if you need any assistance. Will do. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem. We need to make sure everything runs smoothly. Absolutely. It's frustrating when technology doesn't cooperate. Tell me about it, but we'll figure it out. Hopefully. I'll keep troubleshooting and let you know if I find a solution. Sounds good. Don't hesitate to ask if you need help. Break into, enter a place illegally or forcefully. Did you hear about the abandoned warehouse on Elm Street? Yeah, I heard it got broken into last night. Did they catch the culprits? Not yet. They're reviewing the security footage to see who might have broken into the place. It's a shame. That warehouse has been empty for years. I wonder why someone would want to break into it. I heard there were rumors of valuable equipment left behind when the previous business shut down. Maybe that's what they were after. That makes sense. People will do anything to get their hands on valuable stuff. Did they manage to break into the storage room? Yeah, they did. The lock was busted, and it looks like they took some equipment. The police are asking for any leads from the community. I hope someone saw something and can help catch those who broke into the warehouse. It's not the first time this has happened in the neighborhood. Agreed. We need to stay vigilant and report any suspicious activity. It's unfortunate that some people think it's okay to break into places and steal. Blow up, explode or increase in anger or intensity. I heard there was some issue during the client meeting yesterday. What happened? Yeah, it didn't go well. The client didn't like the proposed changes, and things just blew up. Oh no, that's not good. How did the team handle it? Initially, everyone was calm, but then the client started criticizing everything. The tension escalated, and eventually, the lead designer blew up, expressing frustration. How did the client react to that? Surprisingly, it had the opposite effect. The client realized the extent of our team's dedication and passion for the project. It turned things around, and now we're working closely to address their concerns. So, the blow-up, in a way, worked in your favor. Exactly. It was a risky move, but it helped break the ice and get the client to open up about their expectations. Well, I'm glad it worked out.
It just goes to show that sometimes, a controlled blow-up can change the dynamics for the better. True, but I hope we can find a more diplomatic approach next time. We don't want to rely on blowing up as a strategy. Drugs They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck Hey, I wanted to talk to you about something serious I've noticed you've been experimenting with drugs lately, and I'm concerned. Yeah, I've been trying a few things, but it's just for fun. I can handle it. I understand that it might seem like fun, but drugs can be dangerous. They can have serious consequences for your health and well-being. I appreciate your concern, but I'm being cautious. I'm not using anything too hardcore. Even so, it's a slippery slope. Sometimes things can spiral out of control faster than you think. Have you considered the potential legal issues as well? I guess I haven't thought about it much. I'll be more careful. Please, consider seeking support or talking to a counselor if you ever feel like it's getting out of hand. Your safety and well-being are important to me. Thanks for looking out for me. I'll keep that in mind. If you need my help, please let me know. Hey, how's everything going with the project? It's going okay, but I'm struggling with a few things. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you know if I need assistance. All right, just remember, if you need my help, please let me know. I'm here for you. Thanks, I appreciate that. It's good to know I have your support. Absolutely. We're a team, and we're all in this together. That's true. Thanks for reminding me. No problem at all. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Okay? Will do. Thanks again. Anytime. Now, let's tackle these challenges together. Agreed. Let's get back to work. Sounds like a plan. We've got this. They're very busy. Have you tried reaching out to the IT department? Yes, but they're very busy at the moment. Oh, I see. I was hoping to get some assistance with my laptop. Maybe try again later in the day. They might have some availability then. All right, I'll give it a shot. Thanks for the heads up. No problem. They're usually swamped in the mornings. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Is there anything urgent you need help with? Not really. Just some minor issues with software updates. Okay. Well, let me know if you need any temporary workarounds. Will do. Thanks for offering. No problem. We all have those days where technology doesn't cooperate. True. It's part of the job. Thanks again. Anytime. Don't hesitate to ask if you need anything else.
That's too many. Did you see the list of action items from the meeting? Yeah, I did. There are a lot of tasks to complete. That's too many. We might need to prioritize. Agreed. Some of them are more urgent than others. Exactly. Let's focus on the critical ones first. Sounds like a plan. I'll start working on those right away. Good idea. And if you need help, just let me know. Will do. Thanks. No problem. We're a team, after all. Definitely. Together, we can tackle anything. That's the spirit. Let's make sure we meet all the deadlines. Absolutely. We don't want to fall behind schedule. Agreed. Let's stay organized and efficient. I'm on it. We'll get it all done. Great. I have confidence in us. Job hopping. I've been thinking about job hopping lately. It seems like a lot of people are doing it. Yeah, it's becoming more common. What's making you consider it? Well, I've been in my current job for a few years, and I'm starting to feel a bit stagnant. I'm wondering if I should explore new opportunities to advance my career. Job hopping can be a way to gain new experiences and skills, but it also comes with risks like potential instability and employers questioning your commitment. Have you thought about what you want in your next role? That's a good point. I'm still figuring that out. I don't want to jump into something just for the sake of it. It's essential to have a clear plan and understand your career goals before making any moves. Consider talking to a career counselor or mentor to help you make an informed decision. Thanks for the advice. I'll take some time to reflect and weigh the pros and cons of job hopping before making any decisions. See you later. Well, I've got to run to my next appointment. See you later. See you later. Have a productive day. Thanks. I'll try my best. By the way, did you hear about the new project coming up? Yes, I did. It sounds like it's going to be quite challenging, but also exciting. Absolutely. I think our team will do great. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later to discuss it further. Sounds like a plan. Looking forward to it. See you later. See you later. Take care. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. How about you? I'm doing well too. 
Anything new in your life? Not much, just the usual routine. How about you? Any exciting updates? Well, I started a new job recently. It's been keeping me busy, but I'm enjoying it. That's great to hear. What kind of job is it? I'm working in marketing for a tech company. It's a bit challenging, but I like the fast-paced environment. Sounds interesting. Do you have any upcoming plans or vacations? Not yet, but I'm thinking about taking a short trip soon. How about you? No plans for vacations either, but I'm hoping to catch up on some hobbies. Thanks for asking, by the way. Of course, always good to catch up. Let's grab coffee sometime soon. Sounds like a plan. It's a matter of perspective. Have you ever traveled alone? No, I haven't. I always thought it might be lonely. Well, it's a matter of perspective. Some people find it liberating and a chance to self-discover. I see what you mean. It depends on how you look at it. Exactly. Similarly, have you tried that new restaurant in town? No, I heard mixed reviews. I'm not sure if it's worth it. It's a matter of perspective. Some people love it, and others don't. You might want to give it a try to form your own opinion. Fair point. I should judge for myself. That's the spirit. And what about the recent changes at work? I'm a bit apprehensive. Change can be unsettling. True, but it's a matter of perspective. Change can also bring new opportunities and growth. You're right. I should be more open to it. Exactly. It's all about how we choose to see things. Have a nice day. I have to head to a meeting now. I'll talk to you later. Sure, have a productive meeting? Thanks, I hope it goes well. Oh, and before I forget, did you get a chance to review the proposal I sent you? Yes, I did. It looks good overall, but I had a few suggestions. I'll email them to you shortly. Great, I appreciate your input. Let's discuss it in more detail when I'm back. Sounds like a plan. Have a nice day. You too. And thanks again for the feedback. Talk to you later. No problem. Happy to help. Have a nice day. That's not fair. Did you hear about the new policy the company just implemented? Yeah, I did. It seems like they're cutting down on benefits again. That's not fair. We work hard for this company. I know, right? It feels like they're always squeezing more out of us. Exactly. And now, this new policy is just adding insult to injury. I couldn't agree more. But what can we do about it? I'm not sure. But maybe we could voice our concerns to HR. Worth a shot. It's worth letting them know how we feel about these changes. 
Definitely. I'll draft up an email outlining our grievances. Good idea. The more voices we have, the better chance we have of being heard. Agreed. Let's hope they listen to us this time. Fingers crossed. But regardless, it's important that we speak up for ourselves. Absolutely. That's not fair. And we deserve better. Look for, search or seek something. Have you seen my keys? I can't find them anywhere. Oh no, did you look for them in the usual places? Yeah, I checked the kitchen, living room, even my bag. They're just not there. Maybe you left them in the car. Did you look for them there? Good idea. I'll go look for them in the car right away. That's all right. Hey, sorry I'm late. Traffic was insane. That's all right. No worries. Thanks. So, did I miss anything important? Nah, just the usual. We went over some project updates. Got it. I'll catch up later then. Sure thing. Oh, by the way, did you get a chance to review the proposal? Not yet, but I'll do it tonight for sure. Great. Let me know if you need any input. Will do. Thanks for reminding me. No problem. We're a team, right? Absolutely. Speaking of which, do you need any help with your part of the presentation? That's all right. I think I've got it covered. But thanks for offering. All right, then. Just giving a heads up. Appreciate it. We make a good team, don't we? Definitely. All right, let's get back to work. I don't want it. I brought you a coffee. Just how you like it. Thanks, but I don't want it. Is everything okay? You usually love this coffee. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to cut back on caffeine. Oh, got it. Well, I can bring you something else if you'd like. No, that's okay. I brought my own herbal tea today. Fair enough. Anything else I can do for you? Actually, yes. Do you mind if we reschedule our meeting for tomorrow? I need some more time to prepare. Sure thing. No problem. Tomorrow works for me. Just let me know when you're ready. Thanks. I appreciate it. Anytime. Just focus on getting everything ready, and we'll reconvene tomorrow. Will do. Thanks again for understanding. That's not right.
Did you hear about what happened in the meeting yesterday? Yeah! I heard there was some disagreement over the project budget. Exactly. And the way they handled it, that's not right. Agreed. It seemed like they were ignoring valid concerns. It's frustrating when decisions are made without considering all perspectives. Definitely. It undermines the collaborative spirit of the team. And it can lead to problems down the line if important issues aren't addressed. Absolutely. We need to ensure that everyone's voice is heard. Maybe we should bring it up in the next meeting. That's a good idea. We need to advocate for fairness and transparency. Definitely. It's important to hold ourselves and others accountable. Agreed. Let's make sure we address this issue head on. Sounds like a plan. We can't let things continue like this. Absolutely. Together, we can make a difference. That's fine. I'm thinking of rescheduling our meeting to tomorrow afternoon. Is that okay with you? That's fine. I don't have any conflicts tomorrow. Great. I'll send out an updated calendar invite. Sounds good. Also, did you get a chance to review the budget proposal? Yes, I did. Overall, it looks good. Just a couple of minor adjustments needed. Okay. I'll make those changes and resend it to you for final approval. Perfect. Thanks for taking care of that. No problem. It's part of my job. Speaking of which, have you heard back from the client regarding our last proposal? Not yet, but I'm expecting a response by the end of the week. All right, let's keep an eye out for that. Will do. Anything else on the agenda for today? Not really. I think we covered everything. We can wrap up early if you want. That's fine with me. I'll catch up on some emails then. Sounds like a plan. See you tomorrow for the meeting. I have my work cut out for me. Hey, how's your new job going? It's challenging, to be honest. I have my work cut out for me. Really? What makes it so demanding? Well, there's a lot to learn and adapt to in this role. The responsibilities are quite extensive. I can imagine that's a bit overwhelming. Yeah, it's been a steep learning curve, but I'm up for the challenge. That's the spirit. What's your strategy for tackling it all? I've been prioritizing tasks, setting clear goals, and working extra hours when needed. It's all about time management. Sounds like a solid plan. Do you think you'll be able to handle it in the long run? I believe so. Once I get the hang of things, it should become more manageable. Well, if you ever need any help or advice, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks, I appreciate that. I'll keep that in mind as I work through everything. Agreeing and Disagreeing
Have you seen the latest movie everyone's talking about? Yeah, I watched it last night. I thought it was amazing. Really? I heard mixed reviews and thought it was overrated. Well, I can see why some might think that, but I personally love the storyline and the acting. Fair enough. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. True, it's all a matter of personal taste. Speaking of taste, have you tried that new restaurant downtown? Oh, yes. I went there last week. The food was delicious and the ambience was great. I went there too, and I was quite disappointed. I found the portion small for the price. Ah, that's interesting. I thought the portion size was just right for the quality. Well, it's funny how different our perspectives can be on things like this. Absolutely, but that's what makes life interesting, right? Different opinions and experiences. Job hunting is too hard. Job hunting is becoming incredibly frustrating. It feels like an endless struggle. I can understand how tough it is out there. What's been the most challenging part for you? It's a mix of things, really. The competition is fierce, and it's disheartening to send out countless applications and hear nothing back. I've been there. Have you considered reaching out to your network or attending networking events to expand your opportunities? I have, but it's been tough to find the right connections. Plus, the pandemic has limited in-person events. True, it's a challenge. Have you also tried tailoring your resume and cover letter for each job to make a stronger impression? Yes, I've been customizing them, but it's still tough to stand out. It's like everyone is looking for that perfect fit. It's tough, but hang in there. Sometimes it just takes time. Keep refining your approach and don't hesitate to seek advice or coaching if needed. Thanks for the encouragement. I won't give up. I just need to stay persistent. No problem. Hey. I'm really sorry for borrowing your car without asking last night. I needed it for an emergency. No problem. I understand emergencies happen. Is everything okay now? Yeah, everything is fine. Thanks for being so understanding. It's all good. Just let me know next time, so I'm not worried about where my car went. Will do, and I'll make sure to fill up the gas tank as well. Thanks. That'd be appreciated. I appreciate your understanding. You're a lifesaver. No problem at all. Happy to help when I can. Thanks again. You're the best. You're welcome. Just remember to ask next time, okay? Making an answering phone call. Hey, it's me. How are you doing? Oh, hey. I'm good, just catching up on some work. What's up? I was wondering if you're free this weekend. I thought we could go hiking. That sounds awesome. I've been wanting to get outdoors. Yeah, I'm definitely up for it. What time are you thinking? How about Saturday morning around 9 a.m.? We can meet at the trailhead. Perfect, that works for me. Should I bring anything? Just some water and snacks, and maybe a hat. It might get sunny. Got it. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for thinking of me. No problem. 
Can't wait for some fresh air and good company. See you Saturday. See you then. Wealth Gap The wealth gap is a real concern these days, isn't it? Absolutely. It's a growing issue. The disparity between the rich and the poor seems to be widening. It's disheartening to see how a small portion of the population holds so much wealth, while many struggle just to make ends meet. Income inequality has far-reaching consequences, affecting access to education, health care, and opportunities for upward mobility. And it can lead to social unrest and instability. Do you think there are any solutions to address this problem? It's a complex issue. But policies that promote fair taxation, affordable education, and access to quality health care can help reduce the wealth gap. Additionally, encouraging companies to adopt fair wage practices and support social programs can make a difference. Education and awareness are vital too. The more people understand the issue, the more likely we are to see positive change. Absolutely. Raising awareness. And advocating for change can play a significant role in narrowing the wealth gap and promoting a more equitable society. Holiday Economy The holiday season is here, and I can't help but think about the impact of the holiday economy. It's an interesting topic. What's on your mind? Well, it's incredible how much economic activity revolves around this time of year. From shopping to travel and hospitality, it's a major driver of business. True. The holiday season brings in a significant amount of revenue for retailers, and it provides job opportunities too. But there's also the pressure it puts on people to spend beyond their means. It's like we're encouraged to buy more and more. That's a valid concern. It's essential for individuals to set budgets and prioritize spending to avoid financial stress during the holidays. And let's not forget about the environmental impact. The excess packaging and waste during this season are concerning. You're right. Sustainability should be a consideration in our holiday celebrations. Supporting eco-friendly initiatives and reducing waste can make a difference. Agreed. It's a balance between enjoying the holiday spirit and being mindful of its economic and environmental consequences. Thank you. Hey, I wanted to thank you for helping me move last weekend. It really made things easier. No problem. I'm always happy to lend a hand. Well, it was a lot of heavy lifting, and I couldn't have done it without you. It was my pleasure. Plus, it gave me a good workout. Ha, <laughs> true. And thank you for bringing that delicious homemade lasagna for lunch. It was a lifesaver. You're welcome. I knew you'd need some fuel during all that moving. You're such a great friend. Always there when I need you. Likewise, we've got each other's backs. That's true friendship. Thanks again. Thank you for being an awesome friend. I know.
Did you hear about the new policy changes at work? Yeah, I know. What do you think about them? Not much, really. Just seems like more bureaucracy to me. I hear you. It does feel like they're making things more complicated than they need to be. Exactly. But what can we do about it? Not much, unfortunately. Just have to roll with the punches, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, did you get a chance to look over the meeting agenda for tomorrow? Yeah, I know. Great, just making sure we're on the same page. No worries. I'll be ready. Breakdown, fail or stop functioning, often about a machine or plan. I heard the production line had some issues yesterday. What happened? Yeah, it was a mess. The main machine that assembles the products just broke down out of nowhere. That's not good. Did it take long to fix? It took a few hours. We had to call in the maintenance team, and they had to break down the entire machine to identify the problem. What caused the breakdown? It turns out there was a faulty component that malfunctioned causing the entire system to break down. We're getting it replaced, but it's a setback for the production schedule. Have you considered preventive maintenance to avoid such breakdowns in the future? Absolutely. We're reviewing our maintenance schedule and planning more regular checks to catch issues before they lead to a breakdown. Good call. It's always better to be proactive. How are you dealing with the delays in production? We're trying to expedite the process once the machine is back up and running. Thankfully, we had some buffer time in the production timeline to handle unforeseen events like this breakdown. I hope everything gets back on track soon. Breakdowns can be a real headache for production. Break in, enter a building or conversation abruptly and forcefully. Did you hear about the recent burglary in the neighborhood? Yeah, it's concerning. Someone broke in last night, when the family was away. That's terrible. Were they able to break in easily? Unfortunately, yes. The security system was malfunctioning, making it easier for the intruders to break in undetected. Have the neighbors been taking extra precautions now? Definitely. We're all more vigilant. Some are even considering upgrading their security systems to prevent future break-ins. It's a shame people have to worry about break-ins. Did the police find any leads? Not yet. They're investigating, but it's tough without any witnesses. The burglars seem to break in and out quickly. I hope they catch whoever is responsible. On a different note, I noticed you tried to break in on the meeting yesterday. What was it about? Oh, that. I had some urgent updates to share. I didn't mean to interrupt, but the information couldn't wait. No worries, it was important information. Next time, just give a heads up, so we can make time for your updates without feeling like you're breaking in on the agenda. What's your name? Hi there, I don't think we've met before. What's your name? I'm nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm so. What do you do for a living? I work in marketing. How about you? 
I'm a software developer. Do you live around here? Yeah, I've been in this neighborhood for a few years now. How about you? I just moved here recently. Still getting to know the area. Well, if you ever need any recommendations or have questions about the neighborhood, feel free to ask. Thanks, I appreciate that. So, what do you like to do for fun in your free time? I enjoy hiking and trying out new restaurants. How about you? I'm into photography and love exploring new coffee shops. Maybe we could grab a coffee sometime? Sounds good. I'd like that. Come across. Find or encounter something or someone unexpectedly. You won't believe what I came across while cleaning out the attic. What was it? An old box of letters from when we were in college. It was quite a trip down memory lane. That's amazing. I didn't even know those letters still existed. What else did you come across? Well, I also came across this antique book. It looks valuable. I might take it to an appraiser. Interesting find. You never know what you'll come across when sorting through old stuff. Exactly. It's like a treasure hunt up there. Have you come across anything unexpected lately? Funny you should ask. I was hiking last weekend and came across a hidden waterfall. It was breathtaking. That sounds like a magical discovery. I need to explore more. Maybe I'll come across something as enchanting. Definitely do. You never know what you might come across in the most unexpected places. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe we can plan a hike together sometime. I like her. Have you met the new intern, Sarah? Yeah, I like her. She seems nice, right? Definitely. And she's really good at her job, too. Agreed. I think she's going to be a great addition to the team. For sure. It's refreshing to have someone so competent and easy to work with. Have you had a chance to talk to her much? A little bit. We chatted during the team meeting yesterday. Nice. I'll have to introduce myself properly at some point. Yeah, you should. I think you two would get along well. Thanks for the heads up. I'll make sure to do that soon. No problem. I think she'll appreciate it. Well, it's good to hear positive feedback about her. Makes the transition smoother for everyone. Definitely. Let's make her feel welcome. I have to catch my breath. Was your workout at the gym today? Intense. I pushed myself hard, and now I have to catch my breath. That's great to hear. Working up a sweat can be so invigorating. Yeah, it's a great way to start the day. Keeps me energized. Speaking of energy, how's your new job going? It's been busy, to say the least. I have to catch my breath after each day at the office. Sounds like you're really getting into it. Absolutely. 
The learning curve is steep, but I'm enjoying the challenge. That's the spirit. Keep up the hard work, and you'll make a significant impact in no time. Thanks. I'm giving it my all. I have to catch my breath, but it's worth it. Well, take a moment to relax when you can. It's important to find balance. I will. Thanks for the advice. I hope you and your wife have a nice trip. I heard you're going on a trip soon. Yeah, my wife and I are taking a vacation to Hawaii. That sounds amazing. When are you leaving? We're flying out next Saturday. Nice. Have you planned out what you're going to do there? Not entirely, but we have a few activities in mind like snorkeling, hiking, and exploring the local cuisine. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Well, I hope you and your wife have a nice trip. Enjoy the sun, sand, and relaxation. Thanks, I appreciate it. We'll make sure to take lots of pictures to share when we get back. Sounds good. Can't wait to hear all about it when you return. Definitely. Thanks again for the well wishes. No problem at all. Have a safe flight. Bring out, publish or release a product, like a book or new item. I heard you've been working on a new book. When are you planning to bring it out? Yeah, I've been putting in a lot of effort. The plan is to bring out the book early next year. We're in the final editing stages now. That's exciting. Have you decided on a launch strategy to bring out the book successfully? I'm considering working with a marketing team to bring out a strong promotional campaign. It's crucial to create buzz and anticipation before the release. Smart move. What about the cover design? That can really make a difference when you bring out the book. I've been working closely with a talented designer to bring out the cover that captures the essence of the story. First impressions matter a lot in the book industry. Absolutely. Are you planning any events or signings to bring out the book and connect with readers? Yes, I'm looking into organizing a book launch event and scheduling signings at local bookstores. It's a great way to bring out the book and engage with the audience. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know how I can support you when you bring out the book. It's a significant achievement. Thanks. I'll keep you posted on the details as we get closer to bringing out the book. Check out, inspect or investigate something or leave a place. Have you had a chance to check out the new coffee shop downtown? Not yet. Is it worth checking out? Absolutely. They have great coffee, and the ambience is fantastic. Plus, they have a cozy outdoor seating area. Sounds good. I'll make sure to check it out this weekend. Speaking of weekends, have you checked out the local farmer's market? It's open on Saturdays. I've heard about it but haven't had a chance to go. What's it like? It's vibrant, with lots of fresh produce, artisanal goods, and food trucks. 
It's a nice way to spend a Saturday morning. I'll definitely check it out. By the way, did you check out the latest report I sent over? Yes, I did. I wanted to discuss a few points with you. When are you available? Let's check in tomorrow morning. I have some time before our team meeting. Sounds good. We can check out those details then. What's up? Hey, what's up? Not much, just the usual. How about you? Same here, just trying to stay busy. Anything interesting happening lately? Well, I started a new project at work, so that's keeping me occupied. How about you? I've been working on some home renovations. It's been a bit of a project, but I'm making progress. That sounds like a lot of work. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Not really, just some errands, and maybe catching up on some reading. How about you? I'm thinking of going for a hike if the weather holds up. It's been a while since I've been outdoors. Sounds like a great idea. Enjoy your hike. Let's catch up again soon. Thanks. We definitely should. Have a good one. I get off of work at 6. Hey, what time do you finish work today? I get off at 6. Perfect. Want to grab dinner afterwards? Sounds good to me. Any preferences? How about trying that new Italian place downtown? Sure. I'm up for that. What time do you want to meet? Let's aim for around 6.30. Gives us some time to unwind after work. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you there then. Great. Looking forward to it. Oh, and don't forget to invite Sarah if you can. It'd be nice to catch up with her too. Will do. I'll shoot her a message now. Awesome. See you later then. See you at 6.30. I don't want to bother you. Hey, do you have a minute? I need your help with something. Of course, what do you need? Well, I was wondering if you could take a look at this report I've been working on. I'm not sure it's formatted correctly. Sure thing. Happy to help. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I know you're busy, so I don't want to bother you. It's no bother at all. We're a team, remember. Just send it over, and I'll take a look as soon as I can. Great. I'll email it to you right now. Perfect. I'll get back to you with any feedback I have. Thanks again. You're a lifesaver. Don't mention it. That's what teammates are for. Well, I'll let you get back to your work now. Sounds good. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Thanks again.
Bring up, raise a topic or subject in a conversation. I wanted to bring up the upcoming team meeting. We need to discuss the project timelines. Good point. I was going to bring up the same topic. Some team members seem to be struggling with deadlines. Exactly. We should bring up the issue during the meeting and see if there are any challenges we can help address. I agree. It's essential to bring up these concerns early to avoid any major setbacks in the project. Also, I wanted to bring up the idea of cross-training. It might help if team members have a broader skill set. That's a valid suggestion. Let's bring it up and see if there's interest among the team members. It could enhance overall efficiency. On a different note, I wanted to bring up the possibility of a team building activity. Morale seems a bit low lately. I was going to bring up the same concern. A team building event could help improve communication and boost morale. Let's bring it up in the meeting and get some suggestions. Great. It's crucial to bring up these topics and foster a positive and collaborative team environment. I'm glad we're on the same page. Call for, demand or require something, often action or a response. Have you seen the latest report on the project timeline? Yeah, it's not looking good. The unexpected delays call for a reassessment of our deadlines. I agree. We may need to call for additional resources to catch up. I'll speak with the project manager about it. Good idea. The current workload calls for more hands on deck to ensure we meet our targets. On a different note, the client called for a meeting to discuss the changes in the project scope. Did they specify what modifications they're calling for? Yes, they're calling for adjustments to the deliverables. It seems they have different expectations than what was initially discussed. We should schedule a meeting with the client to clarify their requirements and avoid misunderstandings. Clear communication is crucial when clients call for changes. Absolutely. I'll reach out to them today to set up a meeting. We need to address their concerns and see what modifications they're calling for in detail. Thanks for taking the lead on that. It's essential to be proactive when clients call for adjustments to prevent any issues down the line. Checking luggage. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me I'm a bit worried about the weight of my suitcase. Do you think it'll be over the limit? Did you use a luggage scale? It's the best way to avoid any surprises at the check-in counter. No, I didn't. Maybe I should rearrange some items into my carry-on. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Remember, they're strict about the weight limits. It's better to be safe than pay extra fees. I'll move a couple of books and my extra pair of shoes. That should do it. How about yours? I packed light this time, so I'm good. Don't forget to keep your travel documents handy for the check-in. Got them right here in my hand luggage. Okay, let's head to the counter. Fingers crossed we're within the limit. Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I have to face the music. <clears throat> I 
ice in my veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed Hey, have you spoken to Sarah lately? Not since last week. I have to face the music and talk to her about a situation at work. Oh, is there a problem? Yeah, it's a delicate issue. I have to address a mistake that happened on our team. That doesn't sound easy. What's your plan? I'll be honest with her, take responsibility, and propose a plan to rectify it. It's the only way forward. That's a responsible approach. It's important to address such matters head on. It's never comfortable, but it's necessary. I can't avoid it any longer. I understand. Hopefully, it leads to a resolution and helps prevent future issues. That's the goal. It's a tough conversation, but it's part of being a team leader. I admire your willingness to face the music and handle it professionally. Thanks. It's not always easy, but it's the right thing to do. I have no hard feelings. Hey, I heard you got the promotion. Congratulations. Thanks, I appreciate it. I know we both applied for it, and I got the nod. Yeah, I was really hoping for it too, but I have no hard feelings. You deserve it. I know it was a tough decision for our manager. I hope we can still work together effectively. Absolutely. We've always had a good working relationship, and I have no hard feelings about this. That means a lot. Let's keep supporting each other and the team. Agreed. At the end of the day, it's about what's best for the company. That's the spirit. And hey, who knows what opportunities the future holds for both of us. True, you never know. I'm looking forward to seeing how we can excel in our respective roles. Me too. Thanks for being understanding. No problem. Let's move forward and make the most of it. Back up, support someone or something, especially in a dispute. I'm having a tough time with the new project. The team seems resistant to the changes I'm suggesting. That's challenging. Have you considered asking for backup from the higher UPS? Maybe they can reinforce the importance of the changes. I thought about it, but I don't want to escalate things unnecessarily. I was hoping the team would see the benefits on their own. I get that, but sometimes you need to back up your ideas with authority, especially when facing resistance. It might help the team understand the bigger picture. True. I'll talk to the manager about it and see if they can back me up during the next team meeting. Good call. It's essential to have support when introducing significant changes. How about sharing some success stories or data that back up your proposals? Excellent suggestion. I'll gather some data to make a stronger case. Thanks for backing me up on this. It means a lot. No problem. We're a team, and it's important to back each other up especially when trying to improve processes. Let me know how it goes. Asking and giving directions. Excuse me, can you help me find the near subway station? Of course. You're currently at the corner of Elm Street and Main Street. To get to the subway, just walk straight down Elm Street for about two blocks. 
You'll see the station entrance on your left. Got it, thank you. And how long does it take to get to downtown from there? From this station, it'll take you approximately 15 minutes to reach downtown. Trains run pretty frequently during this time of day, so you shouldn't have to wait long. That's perfect. Thanks for the directions. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further help, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks again, you've been a big help. Have a great day. You too. Safe travels. Changing seats. I just realized they seated us in different rows. Do you think we could ask someone to switch seats with us? It's worth a try. Maybe we can ask the flight attendant for help. They might have better luck finding someone willing to switch. Good idea. I'll flag one down. Excuse me, we were wondering if it's possible to change seats so we can sit together. Let me check the seating chart. It looks like there are a couple of open seats. You can move to row 14. That's great. Thank you so much for your help. This is much better. I'm glad we asked. Now we can enjoy the flight together. Yeah, it's always more comfortable traveling with someone you know. Let's get settled in. Bring down, reduce or lower something, often prices or expectations. Have you seen the latest report on our sales figures? Yeah, not great news. We need to bring down our expenses to offset the revenue dip. Agreed. The management is considering various strategies to bring down costs without affecting productivity. Have they mentioned any specific areas they're targeting to bring down expenses? They're looking at operational efficiency and evaluating if there are any unnecessary expenditures. The goal is to bring down our overall operating costs it's a tough situation. Do you think they might bring down the workforce to cut costs? That's a possibility. They're currently assessing the staffing needs in each department and might bring down the number of employees in areas where there's redundancy. I hope they find a balance and don't bring down morale too much. People are already feeling the pressure. Absolutely. The focus is not just on cutting costs but on finding sustainable solutions that won't bring down employee morale or compromise the quality of our products and services. Let's hope the measures they take can bring down expenses without negatively impacting the overall well-being of the company. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Not bad. Just another busy day at work. How about you? I hear you. I've been swamped too, but I can't complain. Keeps me on my toes. That's the spirit. Any exciting plans for the weekend? Not really. Just some household chores and maybe catching up on some reading. How about you? I'm thinking of going hiking if the weather holds up. It's been a while since I've had some outdoor time. Sounds like a great way to unwind. Enjoy it. Thanks, will do. By the way, have you tried that new restaurant downtown? Not yet, but I've heard good things about it. Maybe we should check it out together sometime. That sounds like a plan. Let's do it.
It's okay. Hey, I accidentally spilled some coffee on your shirt. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Accidents happen. It's just a shirt. Thanks for understanding. I'll try to be more careful next time. No problem. Don't worry about it. Also, I forgot to return the book I borrowed from you. I've had it for a while now. That's okay. Take your time. I wasn't in a hurry to read it anyway. I appreciate your patience. I'll make sure to return it soon. It's not a big deal, really. Whenever you can. Thanks. You're very forgiving. It's all right. We all have our forgetful moments. Well, I'll get that book back to you soon. And I promise to be more careful with my coffee. Sounds good. Don't stress about it. Call back, return a phone call or recall someone to a location. Hey, did you get a chance to call back the client about the proposal? Not yet. I've been caught up in meetings all morning. I'll make sure to call back right after this discussion. It's important to call them back as soon as possible. They seem eager to move forward with the project. I understand. I'll prioritize calling them back right after our conversation. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. Also, HR asked if you could call them back about the new employee orientation schedule. I completely forgot about that. I'll call back HR right after I'm done with the client call. Perfect. And one more thing, the ID department needs you to call them back regarding the software update. It seems like everyone needs me to call back today. I'll make a list and ensure I call back each department promptly. Thanks for being on top of it. It's crucial to call back promptly to keep things running smoothly. Absolutely. I'll make sure to call back everyone and address their concerns. Smoke abatement. Have you heard about the recent efforts for smoke abatement in our city? Yes, I've seen some news about it. It's about time they take action to reduce air pollution. Exactly. The air quality has been getting worse, and it's affecting our health. I completely agree. But how are they planning to address it? They're implementing stricter regulations on industrial emissions and promoting the use of cleaner energy sources. They also encourage people to use public transportation or carpool. That's a step in the right direction. It's crucial to raise awareness about the harmful effects of air pollution. Absolutely. It's not just about government actions. Individuals should also take responsibility by reducing activities like burning trash and cigarettes. Education and community involvement are key. Let's hope these efforts lead to better air quality and a healthier environment for us all. Agreed. We all have a role to play in smoke abatement for a cleaner and safer city. It's all in the details. I heard you're working on a new project. How's it going? It's coming along, but it's quite challenging. 
There are so many things to consider. I can imagine. What's the key to your success on this one? Well, it's all in the details. I've been focusing on the little things to make sure everything aligns perfectly. That makes sense. Precision is crucial in your line of work. Absolutely. One small mistake can lead to big problems down the line. Have you encountered any issues so far? Not yet, but I'm being proactive to prevent any potential hiccups. It's all about thorough planning and attention to detail. I admire your dedication. It must be satisfying when everything falls into place. It definitely is. The devil is in the details, but success is too. Well, I wish you the best of luck with your project. I'm sure your meticulous approach will pay off. Thanks. I appreciate it. Actions speak louder than words. What people do is more important than what they say. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Did you hear about John's promises to start exercising regularly? Yeah, I've heard him talk about it many times. Well, I haven't seen any changes in his routine yet. Exactly. Actions speak louder than words. It's easy to say you're going to do something, but following through is what really matters. Totally. Consistency is key when it comes to achieving goals. I wonder if he's just all talk and no action. Could be. Some people prefer talking about their plans rather than putting in the effort to make them happen. That's true. I guess time will tell if he's serious about it. Definitely. Let's see if he starts hitting the gym or going for runs like he says he will. Agreed. Until then, I'll remain skeptical. Fair enough. Let's hope he proves us wrong. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't waste time worrying about things that have already happened and can't be changed. I can't believe I accidentally deleted that important file from the database. Don't cry over spilled milk. What's done is done. I know, but it was crucial for the project we're working on. There's no point dwelling on it now. Let's focus on finding a solution. You're right. I'll try to restore it from the backup. Good idea. And in the meantime, we can brainstorm alternative approaches. I just feel so frustrated with myself for making such a careless mistake. Mistakes happen to everyone. It's how we learn and grow from them that matters. I suppose you're right. I'll be more cautious in the future. Exactly. Let's turn this setback into an opportunity to improve our processes. Thanks for the perspective. I needed that reminder not to dwell on the past. Anytime. We're a team and we'll overcome challenges together. Bring about, cause or make something happen, typically a change. Have you been following the recent developments in the company? Yeah, I heard there's going to be a major restructuring. What's bringing about this change? The CEO believes it's necessary to bring about a more efficient and streamlined operation. The current structure is hindering progress. That's a significant shift. How do they plan to bring it about? They're implementing a new team structure and investing in updated technologies. 
The goal is to bring about a more agile and responsive organization. It sounds ambitious. How are employees reacting to the news? There's a mix of emotions. Some are anxious about the uncertainties, while others see it as an opportunity for growth. The leadership is working on clear communication to bring about a smooth transition. Change is inevitable, I suppose. Is this restructuring going to affect our department? Yes, it will. Our roles might be redefined, and there could be some adjustments to our workflow. The management is taking steps to ensure minimal disruption and provide support during the process. I appreciate the heads up. Let's hope these changes bring about positive outcomes for the company in the long run. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm doing well, thanks. How about you? I'm good too, thanks. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, I did. I spent some time with family and got some rest. How about you? That sounds nice. I did some gardening and caught up on some reading. Gardening sounds relaxing. What are you growing? Mostly flowers and a few vegetables. It's been a fun hobby. That's great to hear. By the way, did you get a chance to look at the report I emailed you? Yes, I did. It looks good overall, but I have a couple of questions. Can we discuss it later today? Of course. Let's schedule a meeting after lunch. Sounds like a plan. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a great morning. Keep out of, stay away, or avoid a particular situation or place. Have you heard about the heated argument between Sarah and Mike? Yeah, I did. I'm trying to keep out of it. It's their personal issue. Wise choice. It's getting messy, and I wouldn't want to get involved either. Exactly. I prefer to keep out of drama like that. It never ends well. Speaking of drama, did you see the email from the manager about the upcoming project? Yeah, I did. I'm thinking of keeping out of it too. I have enough on my plate with the current assignments. Understandable. It seems like everyone is getting pulled into this project, but I might keep out of it as well. It's probably for the best. Let them handle it. We'll keep out of the chaos. Agreed. I've learned that it's better to keep out of things that don't directly involve us. Saves a lot of unnecessary stress. It's a mixed bag. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And How's your new job going? It's a mixed bag, to be honest. What do you mean? Well, the team is great, and I'm enjoying the work, but the commute is quite long. That sounds challenging. Anything else? Yeah, the workload can be overwhelming at times, but I'm learning a lot. I see. In the office environment? It's a mixed bag too. Some days it's really busy and bustling, while other days it's quieter. That's normal in an office setting. Overall. 
I'd say it's a positive experience, but there are definitely some downsides. Well, as long as the positives outweigh the negatives, it's a good place to be. Absolutely. I'll adapt and make the most of it. That's the spirit. Keep focusing on the good aspects and things will work out. I have my hands full. Hey, can you help me with this project? It's due tomorrow. Sorry, I can't right now. I have my hands full with this report for the boss. No worries, maybe later then. Yeah, definitely. Just give me a few hours to finish this up. Sure thing. By the way, do you have any plans for the weekend? I wish I could make plans, but I have my hands full with family visiting from out of town. Ah, family gatherings can be busy. Tell me about it. It's a full house at my place. Well, after your family leaves, maybe we can catch up. That sounds good. I'll let you know when I have some free time. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. Thanks for understanding. That's right. Have you double-checked the client's requirements for the upcoming project? Yes, I went through them thoroughly. And everything aligns with what they've requested. That's right. I made sure our proposal covers all the key points. Good to hear. We can't afford any misunderstandings this time. Absolutely. I've learned from past experiences. That's right. Attention to detail is crucial in our line of work. Definitely. It's what sets us apart from the competition. Agreed. So what's the timeline looking like for this project? We should be able to deliver the initial draft by the end of the week. Sounds reasonable. Let's aim to exceed the client's expectations. Absolutely. I'll make sure to keep you updated on our progress. Perfect. And if you need any assistance along the way, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, I appreciate it. Together, we'll make this project a success. That's right. Let's get to work. I'll come back later. Hey, are you available to chat right now? Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. Can you come back later? Sure, no problem. I'll come back later. Thanks, I appreciate it. Just let me know when you're free. Will do. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, I'll be here whenever you're ready. Great. Talk to you later then. Sounds good. See you soon. Hey, I'm back. Are you available now? Actually, I'm still tied up with this task. Can you give me a bit more time? Of course, no rush. I'll check back in later. Thanks for understanding. I'll be sure to let you know when I'm free. All right, 
take your time. Talk to you later. Bye for now. Traffic jams. Ugh, I got stuck in another traffic jam today. It seems like it's getting worse every day. Tell me about it. Traffic congestion can be so frustrating. What route were you on? I was on the freeway, and it was just bumper to bumper for miles. It added an extra hour to my commute. That's rough. Have you considered using public transportation or carpooling to avoid these daily traffic nightmares? I have. But public transportation doesn't work well for my schedule, and finding a reliable carpool is challenging. It's a common problem in urban areas. Maybe it's time for some city planning improvements to alleviate traffic congestion and invest in better public transportation options. I couldn't agree more. Less traffic would make our lives so much easier and reduce environmental impact. Absolutely. Let's hope our city takes some action soon to tackle these never-ending traffic jams. It's a turning point. Have you heard about the changes happening in the company? Yeah, there have been a lot of rumors. What's going on? The board just announced a major restructuring plan. They're downsizing some departments and shifting resources. Wow, that's significant. What's the reason behind it? The CEO mentioned it's a turning point for the company. They want to adapt to the changing market dynamics and increase profitability. I see. So, how will it affect our team? Our department might see some reshuffling, and there will be new roles opening up. It's a chance for us to step up and contribute to the changes. Change can be challenging, but it sounds like an opportunity too. Absolutely. We'll need to stay flexible and open to new responsibilities. Well, thanks for the heads up. Let's keep an eye on how things unfold. Agreed. It's a turning point, and we'll navigate it together. Let me walk you through it. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face, shit, I look around. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I have a quick question. Of course, what do you need help with? I was wondering if you could clarify something from our meeting earlier. I didn't quite catch the details. Not a problem at all. I'd be happy to explain it to you. Thanks for your patience. It's just that I want to make sure I understand everything correctly. No worries, I'm here to help. What part of it was unclear? Well, when you were discussing the budget projections, I wasn't sure about the numbers you mentioned. Oh, I see what you mean. Let me walk you through it step by step. I appreciate that. Your explanation is very helpful. You're welcome. If you ever have more questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks again for your assistance. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Look into, investigate or examine something.
I heard there have been some issues with the new software. Have you experienced any problems? Yeah, it's been a bit glitchy. I reported it to it, and they said they would look into it. Good call. It's important to address those issues early on. Do you know when they'll start looking into it? They mentioned they would begin the investigation next week. They want to gather more data on the reported glitches. I hope they can figure out what's causing the problems. It's affecting everyone's productivity. Agreed. I'm glad they're taking the time to look into it thoroughly. We don't want a repeat of the last software rollout. Speaking of issues, did you hear about the financial discrepancies in the recent audit? Yeah, it's a concern. The management team has decided to look into the matter and conduct a thorough review of the financial records. It's crucial to address those discrepancies promptly. I hope they look into it quickly and find a resolution. Absolutely. The sooner they look into it, the better. It's essential for maintaining trust and transparency within the company. In the Articraft Store Look at these handmade ceramics. I'm searching for a unique gift for my sister. She loves artisan and crafts. These vases are beautiful. The detailing is exquisite. How about one of these? They are lovely, but I think she'd prefer something more functional. Maybe a set of mugs? Good idea. These mugs with the intricate patterns are stunning. Each one is different. I love that they're all unique. Oh, and these handwoven baskets would go perfectly in her living room. Definitely. The colors are so vibrant. Handcrafted items have such a personal touch. You're right. I'll get a set of mugs and one of these baskets. She's going to love them. It's a thoughtful gift. This store is a treasure trove for unique finds. I'm sorry. I accidentally spilled coffee on your laptop. I'm so sorry. Oh no, really? That's not good at all. Yeah, I was reaching for my phone and I knocked the cup over. I'm really sorry about this. It's all right. Accidents happen. Is the laptop okay? I'm not sure yet. I quickly wiped it down, but it might be best to let it dry for a while. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate your honesty. Of course. I feel terrible about it. Well, let's hope it's not too damaged. Just be more careful next time. Absolutely. I'll make sure to be more cautious. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm lost. Hey, I'm lost. Can you help me find my way to the museum? Of course, I can help. Do you have a map or a GPS on your phone? My phone battery died, and I left the map at home. I didn't think it would be this hard to navigate. No worries. I know the area well. We're just a few blocks away. Follow me, and I'll get you there. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Not a problem. We all get lost from time to time. Plus, 
the museum is worth the visit. That's what I've heard. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, you're on the right track now. Enjoy your time at the museum. Thanks again. You saved the day. Break a leg, a phrase used to wish someone good luck, often in a theatrical context. Hey, I heard you have your big audition tomorrow. How are you feeling? Nervous, but excited. It's a huge opportunity. You're going to do great. Break a leg. Thanks. I hope so. I've been practicing non-stop. Your hard work will pay off. You're incredibly talented. I appreciate the vote of confidence. It means a lot. No problem. I'll be rooting for you every step of the way. That means the world to me. It's comforting to know I have your support. Of course. You've got this. Just go out there and give it your all. I will. I'm ready to seize this opportunity and make the most of it. That's the spirit. Break a leg tomorrow. And remember, I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Thank you. I'll make you proud. It's a sign of the times. Have you noticed how much remote work has become the norm lately? Oh, absolutely. It's a sign of the times. Yeah, technology has really changed the way we work. And the pandemic accelerated the shift towards remote work too. True. Even businesses that were resistant to the idea had to adapt. It's not just work. Our social lives have changed too. Virtual gatherings and online events are everywhere. You're right. It's a sign of the times when physical gatherings are limited. And don't forget e-commerce. Shopping online is now the default for many people. Convenience and safety have driven that change. So, what do you think the future holds? Hard to say, but it's clear that the world will continue to evolve with technology and new ways of doing things. It's a sign of the times, after all, Agreed. We'll need to stay adaptable and embrace change as it comes. Don't judge a book by its cover. You can't determine the true value or nature of something or someone based solely on appearances. Did you hear about the new guy starting in our department next week? Yeah, I did. I heard he's quite young and has a lot of tattoos. Hum, interesting. I wonder if he'll fit in well with the team. You know what they say. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's true. We shouldn't make assumptions based solely on appearance. Exactly. He might bring a fresh perspective and valuable skills to the table. Yeah, you're right. We should give him a chance to prove himself. Definitely. It's important to approach new colleagues with an open mind. I'll make sure to welcome him warmly and see how he contributes to our projects. That sounds like a plan. Who knows, he might surprise us in a positive way. Agreed. Let's not jump to conclusions before we've even met him. Wise words. 
Let's keep an open attitude and see how things unfold. A penny for your thoughts, a polite way to ask someone what they're thinking or feeling. Hey there, how's it going? Not bad, just lost in thought. Anything on your mind? Oh, nothing too serious. Just pondering some ideas. Ah, uh, gotcha. A penny for your thoughts. Ha, uh, sure. I was just thinking about this new project at work. Oh yeah, what's it about? It's a redesign of our website interface. I've been brainstorming some fresh concepts. Sounds intriguing. Do you have any specific ideas yet? Yeah. I'm leaning towards a minimalist approach with more user-friendly navigation. Nice. That could really enhance the user experience. That's the goal. But there are still some details to iron out. Well, I'm sure your creativity will shine through. Let me know if you need any help bouncing ideas around. Thanks. I appreciate it. Will do! Individual Initiative I've been thinking a lot about the importance of individual initiative lately. That's an interesting topic. What sparked your interest in it? I believe that individual initiative is the driving force behind personal growth and societal progress. It's about taking responsibility for our actions and not just relying on others or waiting for opportunities to come our way. I agree. It's about proactively creating opportunities and taking charge of our lives. But how can we encourage more people to embrace it? Education and mentorship can play a significant role. Teaching individuals to think critically, set goals, and persevere can empower them to take initiative. Mentorship can provide guidance and support. Absolutely. Fostering a culture of innovation and risk-taking can also promote individual initiative in workplaces and communities. It's about creating an environment where people feel encouraged to take ownership of their ideas and projects. Precisely. When individuals take initiative, they can drive positive change and make a real difference in their lives and the world around them. It's an inspiring perspective, and I couldn't agree more. Be off. Leave or depart, especially on a journey. Hey, are you coming to the team meeting this afternoon? I can't, actually. I need to be off early today. I have a flight to catch. Oh, right. I forgot about your business trip. What time is your flight? My flight is at 4 p.m., so I need to leave the office by 2 p.m. to make it to the airport on time. Got it. Safe travels. Is everything packed and ready? Almost there. I just have a few last-minute things to take care of before I can be off. If you need any help, let me know. I know how hectic it can be before a trip. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'll be sure to ask if I need assistance. By the way, can you cover for me at the meeting? Of course. I'll make sure to update everyone on your behalf. Have a great trip. Thanks again. I'll catch up with you when I'm back. If you need anything from my end while I'm away, feel free to shoot me an email. 
Will do. Bon voyage. It's a walk on the wild side. you went hiking in the wilderness last weekend. How was it? Oh, it was quite an adventure. It's a walk on the wild side for sure. That sounds exciting. Any memorable experiences? Well, we encountered some unexpected wildlife. Saw a bear from a safe distance. That must have been both thrilling and nerve-wracking. Exactly. We were well prepared, though. Brought bear spray just in case. Smart move. How about the scenery? Stunning. The untouched landscapes and rugged terrain were breathtaking. It sounds like a trip to remember. Definitely. It's a walk on the wild side, but I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I might join you next time. It sounds like an incredible experience. You should. It's a great way to disconnect and appreciate nature. Count me in for the next wild adventure then. I have to cut to the chase. Living life every day, let it die. Not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. Have you heard about the new project proposal from the marketing team? Yeah, I've seen the email, but I haven't had time to go through all the details. Well, I have to cut to the chase. It's a game changer for our product lineup. That sounds intriguing. Can you give me a quick overview? Absolutely. They're suggesting a complete rebranding, targeting a younger demographic, and leveraging social media influencers for promotion. Interesting. Any projections on how it might impact our sales? According to their preliminary analysis, it could potentially increase our market share by 15% within a year. Impressive. Do they have a detailed plan in place? Yes, they've outlined the strategy and budget required I think it's worth considering. Thanks for summarizing it. I'll look into the proposal more closely and share my thoughts at the meeting. Sounds good. We need a quick decision on this since it's a turning point for our brand. Agreed. Let's work through the details and make an informed call. It's all over now. Did you hear about Tom and Lisa's breakup? Yeah, I did. It's all over now. That's surprising. They seemed so happy together. Sometimes things aren't as they appear on the surface. I guess they had their issues. True, relationships can be complicated. Do you know what led to it? I'm not sure of all the details, but I heard there were some trust issues and disagreements they couldn't resolve. It's a shame. They were together for such a long time. Yeah, it's always sad when a long-term relationship ends. Do you think they'll remain friends? It's hard to say. They might need some time and space to heal first. Well, I hope they both find happiness, whether together or separately. That's a good way to look at it. Life goes on, right? Indeed, it does. Good night.
Good night. I'm heading to bed. Good night. Sleep well. Thanks. I need to get up early for that meeting tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a busy day. Make sure to get a good rest. Will do. By the way, did you lock up the office after you finished working? Yes, sir, I did. I double checked everything, so it should be secure. Great. Thanks for taking care of that. No problem. Have a restful night. You too. See you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good night. I don't understand. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm good. How about you? Hanging in there. So. Did you understand the new project briefing? Not really. I'm a bit lost, to be honest. I、uh, got it. Do you want me to go over it with you again? That would be great. Thanks. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. The main goal of the project is to increase efficiency. Hold on. Can you explain what efficiency means again? Sure. Efficiency basically means doing things in the best possible way to save time and resources. Okay, I think I get it now. Please continue. All right. So we'll be focusing on streamlining processes and reducing waste. Sorry to interrupt, but what do you mean by streamlining processes? No problem. Streamlining means making processes simpler and more efficient. We'll discuss some strategies for that later on. Thanks for clarifying. Let's continue. All bark and no bite. Someone who talks tough but doesn't take action. Did you see Mike trying to intimidate everyone in the meeting today? Yeah, he was talking a big game as usual. Typical, all bark and no bite. Exactly, he loves to act tough, but when it comes down to it, he doesn't do much. It's like he's more interested in talking than actually getting things done. That's what I've noticed too. He's always full of empty threats. It's frustrating to deal with people like that. They create unnecessary tension without any real action. Tell me about it. It's hard to take him seriously when he's all talk. Agreed. I wish he would focus more on backing up his words with actions. Yeah, but I doubt that'll happen anytime soon. Well, let's just keep doing our work and not let his bluster distract us. Good plan. Actions speak louder than words. After all, I have no words. Did you hear about the accident on the highway last night? Yeah, it was all over the news. I have no words. It's tragic. I know. It's heartbreaking. A lot of lives were affected. It makes you realize how fragile life can be. Absolutely. I can't even imagine what the families are going through.
Sometimes, words just don't seem enough to express the sadness and sympathy. It's true. Sometimes, silence speaks louder than words. I hope the survivors and the families find the strength to cope with this tragedy. Let's hope so. And let's also remember to be more cautious on the road. Agreed. It's a stark reminder of how important safety is. Indeed, it is. That's enough. Have you finished preparing the report for the meeting? Almost done. Just need to add a few more details. We don't have much time left. Can you speed it up? I'm doing my best here. It's a lot to cover. I understand, but we need to wrap it up soon. All right, I'll hurry. That's enough. We can finalize it as it is. Are you sure? I think it could use some more polishing. Trust me, it's fine. We don't want to delay the meeting any further. Okay then. I'll stop tweaking it. Good. Let's send it out to everyone now. Agreed. I'll distribute it right away. Perfect. Thanks for your effort on this. No problem. Happy to help. All right. Let's move on to the next task. Nice to meet you. Hi, I heard you're the new colleague joining our team. Nice to meet you. Yes, that's right. Nice to meet you too. Welcome aboard. How's your first day been so far? It's been pretty good. Everyone's been friendly and helpful. That's great to hear. Our team is really collaborative. If you have any questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to working together. Likewise. What department were you in before joining this company? I was in the marketing department at my previous job. That's interesting. We'll have to exchange some ideas sometime. Our marketing team is always brainstorming. Absolutely. I'd be up for that. Thanks for the warm welcome. You're welcome. It's great to have you here. An arm and a leg, something that is very expensive. Have you seen the price of those new smartphones? Yeah, it's crazy. They cost an arm and a leg. I know, right? I don't understand why they're so expensive. Probably because of all the advanced features and technology packed into them. But still, it feels like you're paying a fortune just for a few upgrades. Tell me about it. And don't even get me started on the accessories. Uh, don't remind me. Those cases and chargers can really add up. It's like they know we'll pay anything to keep our devices safe and charged. Unfortunately, they're not wrong. We're pretty much at their mercy. True, but sometimes you just have to bite the bullet.
and splurge on the things you need. I guess so. But it still hurts to see how much money we're shelling out. Agreed. It's a good thing these gadgets last a while, though. Yeah, at least we're getting some bang for our buck in the long run. That smells bad. Have you tried the food from that new restaurant down the street? Yeah, I gave it a shot yesterday. How was it? Honestly, not great. The flavors were off, and the meat seemed overcooked. That smells bad. Yeah, it was a bit disappointing. I heard mixed reviews about it. Guess I'll stick to my usual spot for now. Probably a good call. What's your favorite dish there? I always go for their chicken curry. It's never let me down. Sounds delicious. I might have to try it sometime. Definitely worth it. So, any plans for the weekend? Not really. Just catching up on some reading and maybe hitting the gym. Sounds relaxing. I might join you at the gym if I can muster up the energy. Sure. The more the merrier. Let me know. Talking about jobs and occupations. Hey, I heard you got a new job. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, I recently started as a marketing manager at a tech startup. It's been quite exciting so far. That's awesome. What does your role involve? Well, I'll be overseeing the company's online presence, developing marketing strategies, and managing the marketing team. It's a lot of responsibility, but I'm up for the challenge. Sounds impressive. I'm still at my old job as a graphic designer. It's been pretty steady, but I've been thinking about exploring new opportunities. That's great to hear you're considering a change. What kind of roles are you interested in? I'm leaning towards user experience design, or maybe even redevelopment. I've always been drawn to the tech side of things. That's a fantastic direction to explore especially with your design skills. Let me know if you need any advice or connections in the tech industry. Thanks, I appreciate that. Your new job sounds exciting and I'm happy for you. Postgraduates Fever I've been feeling overwhelmed lately with this postgraduate program. It's like a feverish roller coaster. I totally get it. Grad school can be intense. What's been bothering you the most? The constant deadlines and research pressure. It feels like I'm drowning in assignments. I went through that too. Try breaking tasks into smaller, manageable chunks and create a study schedule. It can help you stay on top of things. Yeah. I need to get organized. Plus, I'm worried about my thesis research. It's challenging to find a unique topic. Research topics can be tricky. Talk to your professors and peers for guidance. They might suggest something you hadn't thought of. Thanks for the advice. Also, I miss having a social life. Balancing work and personal time is tough. 
Absolutely, but don't forget to take breaks and enjoy some downtime. It's essential for your mental well-being. You're right. I need to find that balance. Thanks for listening and understanding the postgraduate fever. Tenants. I've been having some issues with my tenants lately. It's becoming quite frustrating. That's tough. What's been going on? Well, they've been consistently late with their rent, and I've had to chase after them for payments. Late rent can be a headache. Have you considered having a clear lease agreement with consequences for late payments? I do have a lease, but maybe it's time to revise it and make those consequences more explicit. Also, regular communication is key. Try having a conversation with your tenants about the importance of timely payments and see if you can work out a solution together. Good advice. On top of that, there have been some maintenance issues that they haven't reported promptly, causing more extensive damage. You should emphasize the importance of reporting issues right away to prevent further damage and costly repairs. I appreciate your input. Managing tenants can be challenging but I'll take your advice into consideration to improve the situation. Back off, retreat or withdraw from a confrontation or conflict. I heard you had a disagreement with Jake yesterday. What happened? Yeah, it got pretty heated. He disagreed with my proposal at the meeting, and I defended my point strongly. It escalated quickly. Did you manage to resolve it, or is the tension still there? I had to tell him to back off a bit. We were both getting too emotional, and I thought it was best to cool down before continuing the discussion. Wise move! It's important to know when to back off in a disagreement. Did he take it well? Surprisingly, yes. I think he realized things were getting out of hand. We both needed some time to reflect. Conflict at work can be tricky. How do you plan to address it moving forward? I'm thinking of scheduling a one-on-one -on -one with Jake to discuss our perspectives calmly. It's crucial to find common ground and not let personal feelings interfere with work. That sounds like a mature approach. Hopefully, you both can find a resolution and move past this disagreement. I hope so too. It's all about finding a balance and knowing when to back off for the sake of a healthier working relationship. Service on the plane. Excuse me, could I have a blanket? It's quite chilly over here. Of course, I'll bring one right away. Would you like anything else? Could we also get two cups of coffee, please? And do you have any vegetarian options for snacks? Certainly, I'll bring your coffee shortly. For vegetarian snacks, we have a cheese and fruit platter or a vegan wrap. Which would you prefer? The cheese and fruit platter sounds great. Thank you. I'll have the same, please. Also, is it possible to charge my phone somewhere? Sure, there's a USB port right next to your seat. If you need an adapter, I can bring one for you. This is excellent service. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. It makes the flight much more comfortable.
It's a drop in the bucket. I heard you donated to that charity for the local community center. Yeah, I did. It's a drop in the bucket, but every little bit helps. That's a generous gesture. What made you decide to contribute? Well, I believe in supporting our community, and they were raising funds for some important projects. I agree. It's important to give back. Even small donations can make a difference. Exactly. It's all about collective effort. If everyone chips in, it can add up to something significant. Have you volunteered there before? Not yet, but I'm considering it. I want to be more involved in local initiatives. That's commendable. It's not just about money. Time and effort can be equally valuable. Absolutely. It's a drop in the bucket for me, but it might mean the world to someone in need. Well said. Your contribution, big or small, can have a positive impact on our community. To be a SOHO They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a I've been thinking about making the leap to become a SOHO worker That's a big decision What's prompting the change? Well, the idea of having more flexibility and avoiding the daily commute is really appealing. Plus, it could save me money in the long run. Those are some great advantages, but there are challenges too. Have you considered the potential isolation and distractions when working from home? Absolutely, that's my main concern. I might miss the social aspect of the office. And I know staying focused at home can be tough. You can mitigate that by setting up a dedicated workspace, creating a schedule, and making an effort to stay connected with colleagues virtually. Good points. Also, I've heard about tax implications for Soho businesses. Any advice there? It's important to research tax regulations in your area and consider consulting with a tax professional to ensure you're compliant and taking advantage of any available deductions. Thanks for the tips. It's a big step, but I'm eager to explore the Soho lifestyle. I get rid of the devils, they think that I am a rebel, I think they want me to settle, there's nobody on my... All in the same boat, in the same difficult or challenging situation as others. This whole situation with the budget cuts is really stressing me out. Yeah, it's tough for everyone right now. I just can't shake the feeling that we're all in the same boat. Absolutely. We're all facing the same challenges and uncertainties. It's comforting in a way, knowing that we're not alone in this. Definitely. We can lean on each other for support and find solutions together. That's true. Maybe if we work as a team, we can navigate through this rough patch more smoothly. Agreed. We're stronger together. It's just a matter of staying positive and keeping our heads above water. Exactly. We'll get through this one step at a time. Thanks for the pep talk. It helps to know we're all in this together. Anytime. We've got each other's backs. Keep on about. Continue talking or complaining about something.
you know, I can't believe my boss. She just keeps on about that new project, as if we don't have enough on our plates already. Oh, really? What's she keep on about now? It's this whole restructuring thing. She keeps on about streamlining processes and increasing efficiency, but it feels like she's just piling on more work for us. Ugh, that sounds frustrating. Have you tried talking to her about it? I did, but she just keeps on about how it's for the greater good of the company. I feel like I'm banging my head against the wall. I get it. It's tough when they keep on about these changes, without considering the impact on the team. Maybe there's a way to make her see the challenges we're facing. I hope so. I can't keep on dealing with this added pressure. Color Preference I'm redecorating my living room and can't decide on the color scheme. What do you think about blue and gray? Blue and gray can be very calming. They're great for a living space. What shade of blue are you thinking? Maybe a soft sky blue. I don't want anything too dark. I want the room to feel airy and light. Sky blue would be nice. It pairs well with gray, especially a lighter gray. It'll keep the room bright. True, and I can add some white accents, maybe in the curtains or cushions, to brighten it up more. That sounds lovely. White will definitely add a fresh feel. Are you going to add any other colors? I was thinking of some natural green plants. They should bring some life to the room. Absolutely. Plants make everything better. Your living room is going to look great. It's a fine line. Have you been managing the team's budget for the upcoming quarter? Yes, I have. It's a fine line between allocating enough resources for growth and staying within our financial limits. I can imagine. Striking that balance can be tricky. How are you approaching it? Well, I've been closely analyzing past expenditures and identifying areas where we can cut costs without compromising productivity. That sounds like a prudent approach. What about investment in new projects? It's a fine line there too. We need to invest to expand, but we can't overextend ourselves. I'm prioritizing projects with the potential for the highest ROI. Good strategy. It's important to make every dollar count. Absolutely. It's all about optimizing our resources effectively. How about contingency planning? That's also on my radar. We need a safety net in case unexpected expenses arise. Well, it sounds like you've got a handle on it. Balancing the budget is a challenging task but it's crucial for the company's success. Thanks. I'll keep working on it to ensure we stay on the right side of that fine line. A picture is worth a thousand words. Visual images can convey complex ideas more effectively than words. Have you seen the new painting hanging in the gallery? Yeah, it's quite impressive. It really speaks volumes, doesn't it? Definitely. A picture is worth a thousand words, as they say. Absolutely. It's amazing how much depth, 
An emotion can be captured in a single image. That's the power of art. It can convey complex ideas and stir emotions without saying a word. Exactly. And this painting, in particular, seems to evoke a sense of nostalgia and longing. I agree. The way the artist plays with light and shadow adds another layer of meaning to it. It's like you can almost hear the story behind it just by looking at it. Precisely. It's like stepping into another world entirely. I could spend hours just studying the details and unraveling its secrets. Me too. That's the beauty of art. It invites interpretation and reflection. To study abroad. Hey, I've been thinking about studying abroad next semester. Really? That sounds exciting. Any particular destination in mind? I'm leaning towards Spain. The culture, language, and the opportunity to travel across Europe are also appealing. Spain is a fantastic choice. Have you started researching universities there? Yes, I've been looking into several options. Barcelona and Madrid seem like great cities to study in. Do you have any recommendations? Barcelona and Madrid are excellent choices, but it also depends on your field of study. Barcelona has a strong focus on arts and sciences, while Madrid offers a wide range of programs. You should consider the specific courses and universities that align with your academic goals. Good point. I'm also concerned about the cost of living. Any tips on managing expenses? It's important to create a budget and explore scholarships or part-time job opportunities. Additionally, you can look into student accommodations or shared housing to reduce living expenses. Thanks for the advice. I'm excited about the adventure, but nervous about being far from home. It's completely normal to feel that way. Studying abroad is a transformative experience, and you'll gain valuable skills and memories. Don't forget to stay connected with family and friends through calls and visits. I appreciate the support and advice. I think I'm ready to take the plunge and make this dream a reality. What time is it? Hey, do you know what time it is? Sure, let me check my watch. It's 2.30 p.m. Thanks. I have a meeting at 3 o'clock p.m. and I want to make sure I'm not running late. You're welcome. You should have plenty of time to prepare then. Yeah, I just need to wrap up a few things before the meeting. Speaking of time, have you noticed how fast this week has gone by? Absolutely. It feels like it just started. Time really flies. It does. Well, if you ever need to check the time again, feel free to ask. Thanks, I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too, good luck with your meeting. Cost an arm and a leg, something is very expensive. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy. Have you seen the prices for those luxury cars? Yeah, they cost an arm and a leg. It's crazy how expensive they've become. Tell me about it. You practically need to take out a loan to afford one. And the maintenance costs are through the roof too. Exactly. It's not just the upfront price, but all the additional expenses that add up. 
I guess you're paying for the brand name and prestige. That's part of it, for sure. But sometimes it feels like they're just gouging customers. I know what you mean. It's hard to justify spending so much money on a car. Especially when there are more affordable options that are just as reliable. Yeah, but some people are willing to pay the premium for the status symbol. True. To each their own, I guess. But for me, I'll stick to something more budget-friendly. Can't blame you there. Who needs to spend an arm and a leg for a car, right? The book is under the table. Have you seen my copy of The Great Gatsby? I think I saw it earlier. Let me check. Thanks, I need it for my English class. Here it is. The book is under the table. Oh, thanks for finding it. No problem. I remember you were reading it yesterday. Yeah, I'm trying to finish it before the end of the week. It's a good read. Enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's quite interesting. The characters are complex. Definitely. It's a classic for a reason. Agreed. I can see why it's on our syllabus. Well, glad you found it. Let me know if you need any other books. Will do. Thanks again. Anytime. Happy reading. It's all part of the plan. I notice you've been making some changes to the company's marketing strategy. Yes, we're revamping our approach to reach a wide audience. It seems like a big shift. What's the reasoning behind it? Well, the market has evolved and we need to adapt. It's all part of the plan to stay competitive. Makes sense. What are the key changes you're implementing? We're focusing more on digital marketing investing in social media, and enhancing our online presence. It's all part of the plan to engage our target demographic better. That sounds like a comprehensive strategy. Are there any challenges? There will be some adjustments required, but overall, it aligns with our long-term goals. How do you expect this to impact our sales and brand recognition? We anticipate positive results in the long run. It's all part of the plan to strengthen our market position well, I'm looking forward to seeing how it unfolds. It's clear you've thought it through. Thank you. We're confident that this strategy will lead to growth and success for the company. They're the same. compare these two reports? Yes, I have. Interestingly, they're the same. Really? I thought there might be some discrepancies. No, I double-checked. The data and figures match perfectly. That's surprising. I was expecting at least a few differences. Me too, but it seems like everything lines up exactly. Well, that's a relief. It means we can move forward confidently. Definitely. It's reassuring to know that both reports are consistent. Agreed. We can present them without any concerns. Exactly. 
We won't have to spend extra time reconciling conflicting information. That's a time saver for sure. Absolutely. It's good to know that our data is accurate and reliable. Definitely. Thanks for verifying that. No problem. It's all part of the process. Well, I appreciate your attention to detail. Anytime. We're a team after all. This is very important. Have you read the memo from the CEO? Yes, I just finished. This is very important. Absolutely. It outlines some major changes to our company's strategy. I agree. We need to ensure everyone understands the implications. Definitely. Let's schedule a meeting to discuss it with the team. Good idea. We should address any questions or concerns they may have. And we need to emphasize the importance of aligning our efforts with the new direction. Agreed. Clear communication is key in times like these. We should also update our project plans to reflect these changes. Yes, that's crucial for staying on track and meeting our goals. I'll start drafting an agenda for the meeting. And I'll update the presentation slides to highlight the key points. Sounds like a plan. Let's make sure everyone is on the same page. Absolutely. This is very important for the future success of our company. I have a headache. Hey, are you feeling all right? Not really. I have a headache. Oh, that's no good. Did you take anything for it? Yeah, I took some ibuprofen earlier, but it hasn't kicked in yet. Maybe you should try drinking some water too. Dehydration can sometimes cause headaches. Good idea. I'll grab a bottle from the fridge. And if it doesn't get better, Maybe you should take a break and rest for a bit. Yeah, I might do that if it doesn't ease up soon. Don't push yourself too hard. Your health is important. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Will do. Thanks for being understanding. No problem at all. Take care of yourself. I will. Thanks. Making friends. Hi, I couldn't help but notice we have some common interests. Mind if I join you? Hi there. Of course, I'd love some company. What interests are you referring to? I overheard you talking about hiking and reading earlier. Those are two of my favorite things too. That's awesome. I'm always up for a good hike and a great book. Do you have any favorite hiking spots around here? 
Yeah, there are a few nearby trails that I frequent. I'd be happy to show you around sometime. That sounds fantastic. I'm always looking for new hiking buddies. Thanks for offering. No problem. And if you ever want to swap book recommendations, I'm your person. That's great to hear. I think we're off to a good start as friends. Agreed. Looking forward to some great hikes and book chats together. Buy the book to do something strictly according to the rules or guidelines. How did the inspection go yesterday? It went smoothly. We followed the procedures by the book. That's good to hear. I know how meticulous they can be. Yeah. They don't cut any corners when it comes to compliance. Did they find any issues? Nothing major. There were a couple of minor infractions, but we're addressing them promptly. That's understandable. It's important to stay in line with regulations. Absolutely. We can't afford any slip UPS especially with safety standards. Agreed. It's better to be proactive and prevent problems before they escalate. Exactly. That's why we always make sure to follow the guidelines by the book. Well, it sounds like you handled it well. Keep up the good work. Thanks. We take compliance seriously around here. I can tell. It shows in the quality of your work. Look down on, have a low opinion of someone or something. Have you noticed how the new team member is treated in meetings? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Some of the senior members seem to look down on her. I've noticed that too. It's unfair. She's new, of course, but she's got some great ideas. I agree. It's like they look down on her because she doesn't have as much experience. And she's not the only one. I've seen them look down on interns as well. It's frustrating. It really is. Everyone should be given a fair chance, regardless of their position or experience. Exactly. I wish there was a way to address this issue and make them realize how damaging it can be for team morale. Maybe we should bring it up in the next team meeting. Address the importance of respecting everyone's input, regardless of their role. That's a good idea. Maybe if it's discussed openly, They'll become more aware of how they look down on certain team members. Let's give it a try. It's about time this issue is brought to light. Look forward to, anticipate or be excited about something in the future. Living life every day, late at night, not okay, all I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I, I heard you got the promotion. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm really excited about it. I've been working towards this for a long time. That's awesome. When do you start the new role? I officially start next month. I'm looking forward to the new challenges and responsibilities. It's well deserved. I knew you were aiming for that position. What are you most looking forward to in your new role? I'm looking forward to leading a larger team and implementing some of the strategies I've been planning. It's a great opportunity for growth. I can tell you're passionate about it. I'm sure you'll do an amazing job. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm a bit nervous too, but overall, I'm really looking forward to making a positive impact. You've got this. And don't forget to celebrate your success. 
we should plan something to mark the occasion. Absolutely. I'm already looking forward to celebrating with the team. It's going to be a great next step in my career. Everyone, some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome, but try to... It's not my cup of tea. Hey, have you tried that new sushi restaurant downtown? Yeah, I did. It's not my cup of tea. Really? I thought the reviews were great. Well, I'm not a big fan of raw fish, and their menu is mostly sushi. Fair enough. What kind of food do you prefer then? I'm more into Italian cuisine. Pasta and pizza are more my thing. Got it. How about movies? Have you seen the latest action film? No, I haven't. Action movies aren't my cup of tea either. I prefer romantic comedies or dramas. Interesting. We seem to have quite different tastes when it comes to food and movies. Yeah, but that's what makes life interesting, right? Diversity and preferences. Absolutely. It's all about finding what makes you happy. Exactly. And trying new things once in a while can be fun too. Check in, register at a hotel or airport, or report one status. Hey, how was your flight? Long, but not too bad. I had to check in early because of the security lines. Yeah, they can get crazy. Did you manage to get a good seat? Luckily, I checked in online yesterday, so I snagged an aisle seat. No middle seat nightmares for me. Smart move. So, have you checked in at the hotel yet? Not yet. I thought I'd drop my bags at the hotel first, and then check in. Any recommendations on places to eat around here? There's a great restaurant a few blocks away. I can show you the way after you check in. Sounds perfect. By the way, did you check in with the conference organizers? They were asking for attendees to confirm their participation. I haven't done that yet. I'll check in with them right after we grab a bite. Can't afford to miss any updates. Good call. Let's get some food. And then we can both check in at the conference. <laughs> 